Yes, you can go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Nikhil, and uh, welcome everyone. Hope I am audible and clear. So there will be a quick intro session. For I thought I would be giving a quick intro session, but Nikhil, I have already covered most of the things. So in the interest of time, um, well, I am Vajran, and about me, I have or uh, I am having around uh, nine years of experience in IT industry, and. Uh, Okay, sorry. I think uh, this is something that I need to change. I'm not an official chapter chapter lead, but yeah. Uh, so about me, I have my YouTube channel as well as uh, where I add my content as well as I add all the details in my LinkedIn posts as well. So first thing, I don't tag people in my post uh, because I don't want to bug them. But if you want to get details from me, then go ahead and subscribe and then enable the notification. That's how you can get the latest and uh, absolutely great content from me. So uh, this particular agenda will be uh, very useful uh, if you can go ahead and uh, check with your different projects. So before that, since I'm telling multiple times that this will be somewhat interactive session. So what I would do or what I want is uh, I just want to have people or I just want to see the participants who are already uh, winners of previous uh, sessions. Like we connect uh, some events like uh, quiz sessions, right? So in that sessions, who will be the speaker? Uh, sorry, who are the members who won? So do we have such members here? Uh, so if so, please unmute and I'll try to make you unmute, but please raise the hand. If you are already a winner of previous sessions, just try to raise the hand, please. I have Soumya, Angamuthu. Anyone else who has Jain? Okay, thank you. And Sanket Kulkarni, superb. Deepak, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, I need one more person if possible. Uh, if you don't, okay, let's stop. Guys, please uh, wait uh, so that we can just quickly take your names and then we can continue. Hope you can see my screen. Let me just open this again. Okay, I have it here. So let me just add your names and then we'll continue. So we have Soumya. So Harsh, Sanket, Deepak, Akshay, A D Adnan, okay, Rohita. So, um, okay, co-host, can you please unmute uh, these six members only? Don't unmute everyone. Sure, sure. I am doing that. I am doing that. So, Deepak, Akshay, Adnan, Ro Rohita is not, I guess. So, but still, okay. I will do it. Akshay, one more. So along with that, we have our uh, members, Patrul. Okay. And I'm not sure if Sai Kiran and Vijay will continue. So let's have with these people only for now. So Soumya, you have the access. I mean, you can check whether you can unmute. Uh, please unmute. Uh, Soumya, Sanket, Deepak, Adnan. Harjain, yeah, Harjain is a winner. You can, you can Harjain, you are also unmute already. Yeah. So, I mean, Vajrang will tell what to do just and in between you can try and I mean. No, no, you can you can keep it in unmute stage. Just make sure that there is no or noise. That's it. Okay. Okay. So. Here we go. Okay. So do we have everyone in unmute stage? Yes, uh, yes, everybody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, please unmute yourself and uh, please talk. Uh, and but I mean the whoever is saying the names, uh, please if you are feeling any issue, uh, message in the chat. Okay, other exactly. part, uh, other participants uh, don't uh, jumble the message box for some time. Okay, so I have given the option of our message box to the part names on the screen. So okay. if it, anybody having an issue guys please send the message in that i will I again unmute you okay not able to unmute her okay okay got it 
I give brother. I I give right now. Check check now. Participants, everybody can unmute now. I have given. Okay. So Patru, uh, so let's have a quick conversation between you and me. Yeah, Vajra. Yes. Uh, so one thing uh, that I want all others to understand is. uh why exactly do we need ari framework but before doing that uh i just want uh, me and you to have a quick conversation on how to do a calculator or uh, if there is an excel and uh, if i want to write a program like uh, first i will uh, tell what is the first step and you can tell me the next step so what i will do is i will read the excel first and what can be the next step so uh wajrang i think uh, yeah. initially right i i think i missed couple of things so uh -huh. yeah. yeah so uh, first thing is we will try to add items or uh, let's have an input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 mm -hmm. so i have this input with me so what we will do uh, we will have it as an input in an excel or somewhere so the output or end result should be this uh, input should be added up with 2 the requirement is uh, add the number add the input with 2 input with 2 okay and uh, give me the output okay so my uh, first step is uh, is to read the excel or read the input file is it right yes okay so what uh, what can be the next step next uh, step is like uh, looping through uh, okay uh, first thing can you see the screen everyone yeah, i can okay uh, can you see uh, the diagrams that we are doing yes yes okay great yeah please go ahead so what can be the next step next step is looping through each element each okay number okay then uh, so the next step would be after looping in one item after looping in all the items i think we can add a for loop right yes loop all items so that say for loop okay so the next step would be to take a uh, one item of at a time yes okay what can the be the next, next step? step is like uh, we will be doing the calculation we will be going for uh, adding of the addition of items right addition of the items okay so what we will do is okay this is the process of step by step process now let's do the same work in a uh, in a sequential manner but there are some rules and responsibilities for this particular a uh, game first thing is uh, there are the rules are uh, the rules will be mentioned in here uh, first thing is you need to pick only one item at a time mm -hmm. at a time uh, the next thing would be um, if the number is divisible by uh 2 then don't uh then don't process that item okay and if the number is divisible by uh if the number is divisible by is 5 so first it should it should see for 2 then it should see for 5 if the number is divisible by 5 then write a business uh, send an email okay and after all the items we need to close so these are the steps that i have okay so what you can do is you can be one of the member or you can be uh, i'll be dividing this blocks into or i will be dividing this code into different blocks and uh, you can be a person or you can be one of the participant along with you we will have soumya harsh sanket deepak um, rohit and path uh, along with patulu who will be playing this game the first thing that we would uh, we will do is uh, we will first uh, need to read the items or we will first need to check with the items so here is the detail uh, so my requirement is read all or uh, start process here okay next one is i will uh, get one item here 
Okay. And the next step is uh, do calculation over here. Do calculation. Okay. And after completing all the calculations, then I will stop the process in here. Okay. But here, then how are you playing the game? Now, Soumya will be the person or uh, Soumya will go into starting the process and Harsh and Sanket will go into getting one item at a time. Okay. The next step would be Deepak, Akshay and Adnan Rohita will be into process state or where you can do the calculations. Okay. And in the end process or when stopping the process, we have a uh, path. Road. So I hope uh, we have all the requirements taken or everyone are assigned into their roles. Is it clear for everyone? So you can just go ahead and uh, hit on that button. So Soumya, can you please talk now? Yes, Vajran. Okay. So Soumya, did you understand the game? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So the game is simple. You just need to, so I'll be the person who will be starting with the project. So my name goes here. Okay. So this is a simple game. No need to check on any RE framework or anything. Let's play the game as is. Then we will check with uh, the other details. Okay. Okay. So guys, even if you don't understand in the beginning, let's stay tuned so that you will get more details after. So Soumya, you can start with the process. Uh, so what will you do Soumya? What is your step? So out of all these steps, what will you do? Okay. I'll read the Excel file okay. and I'll, uh open i mean open the excel file and i read the data okay mm, and i uh, i'll be giving the data one by one to the uh, uh, the process okay so what we can do is uh, see your task or your role is only to start the process and to get the data is it right yeah so other than that you don't do any other work okay so what is the first activity that you need to do Open the Excel application and read the data. Open Excel application and uh, open Excel application and read the data. Now you need to give or transfer the activity to Harsh or Sanket. Okay. So okay. whom will you transfer the activity to? To Harsh. Okay. So uh, can we go? Children, just one second. Guys, yeah. actually the other participants see. see. The session is going in an interactive way. If you talk, because I gave the option to talk or I mean unmute. So please, other participant, please stay away for some time. This is not for only that five members. This is all the other 400 members. So, but he took only five members to explain the framework in different way. You just stay for 10 to 15 minutes. Everybody will be lined up. So please stay mute. Only that five participants will be in unmute. It's a request. If not, if not, again, it will be a uh, messy, messy to the five participants. Okay. Oh, okay. So please stay mute and concentrate on Vajrang uh, session. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll continue. Uh, so Soumya, whom are you going to give uh, the activity to? Yeah, I'm giving the data to Harsh. Okay. So Harsh, can you please talk? Yeah. Yeah, Vajrang. Okay. So, so Harsh. Harsh your task is to take only one item. Okay. So, and the inputs are here. Okay. And the inputs comes with one, two, three, four, and five. So which one will you pick? One. Okay. Why it's uh, not two, three, four, or five? So like starting from first, like we are looping through the data, whatever Soumya provide to me. Mm -hmm. So like we are reading uh, from the next one. Okay. So other than that, can you just say that I will pick the first item? Whenever there is a uh, income uh, input for you, you will pick only the first item that can come in. Yeah. Can you tell that? Yeah. So like uh, whatever the uh, like whatever the data Samya gives, so I pick that first item. Uh, yeah. You you will pick the topmost item. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then you need to give it to someone from the process. Okay. So whom will you give it to? Okay. 
So whom will you give it to? Akshay. 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 Akshay, can you please unmute and talk? Akshay. Okay, if not Akshay, Deepak, Adnan, and Rohita. Anyone? Uh, hi, uh, Adnan here. Adnan, yeah, please continue. Uh, please continue the task. So your task is to uh, do calculation. So which one, which is the item, what is the item that you got? Uh, the item which is given by the Harsh to me, I will apply the logic over here. Uh, okay. I will take up the... Uh, uh, that uh, decision box over here. Okay. So rather than going with the decision box, let's go with the process. Just tell me what you will do. So you have one as an input, then what will be your output? Uh, I will apply the logic over here. Okay. So the output should be, the rule should be, um, number should be, number must be added with two. Okay, so that is the last step. So, what is the first thing that you will do? Adna? A, B, C. Yeah, yeah. So, what is the next step that you can do? So, guys, there will be only 10 minutes of interaction session. So, please, uh, or after that, it will be completely muted. So, please make it fast. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, apply the logic and then save the data and... Uh, so what it. is the first logic that you will apply? Uh, if condition. Yeah, so if the first number is, uh, if the number is divisible by two, then don't process that item. So one, is it uh, divisible by two or not? One is not dis divisible. Okay, so can you go with the next item? Uh, if the number is divisible by five, send out an email. So is this number divisible by five? Oh, no. Okay. So what should be the next item that should be done? What should be the next thing that should be done? Two will be come up. Sorry? Second will be come up and check the second number. Okay. No, but uh, you need to add the add two to it, right? Yes. yes. So what the, the what will be the output for this one? One plus two is? Three. Uh, three exactly. Will three will be output. So what you need to do is you need to go and give it back to the people in yeah, get transaction yeah. item or uh, get one item here. So whom will you give it to? Sanket. Okay. Sanket, uh, can you please unmute and talk? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Vajran. Yes. yes I, will, I will go with the next number. Like on, uh, one is done. I will go with the next. Like uh, as I'm using uh, for loop, then once it is one is done. So I will go with the second number, then second. Okay. What if you are not using a for loop then, or if you are using orchestrator queues, or if you are getting from a different source, then what will you do? Uh, I will already added that uh, numbers in queue, like one by one. One the first the queue is completed, then the second will. Uh, so rather than tell, telling that, you will ask or you will get the first item or you will get the next item. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what is the next item? Uh, two. It is two. Okay. Now, um, whom will you give it to uh, after you get it to? Uh, Rohita. Rohita, can you unmute and talk? Yes, also. Yes. Uh, so Rohita, what, uh, what will be the, what will be your steps? Yes. Yes. I'll pick two and then okay. I'll divide it. I'll divide it by two. Okay. It is divisible by two. Then okay. I'll send an email. Sorry. Then I'll add two. Okay. You will not add two because the number is divisible by two, right? Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. So what will you do? So you will not process that item. I will uh, process it. Don't process that. Okay. Yes. So yes, that's the process. activity that you must do. Okay. So now what is the next step that you need to do? We'll look to we'll go to the next uh, get next item. Okay, uh, Rohita, why are you getting the next item? It's not your task to get the next item, right? No, no. I mean, I'll send the task to that person. Exactly. So you will give the uh, task, or you will give the uh, next step to get one item. Okay. So yes. whom will you give it to? Is it Harsh or Sanket? Sanket. 
Okay. Uh, Sanket, again, the task came to you. So uh, which item you can pick? You can pick any item. I can go with the five. Okay. So this is the problem that we are talking about in RE framework. You cannot pick a random number in, in the fly. You need to go only with the next item. Uh, then in that case, it is three. Like if it is a sequential order. Yes. Uh, so and whom will you give it to? Uh, uh, Deepak, if it is there, otherwise Akshay. Deepak and Akshay, who is available now? Yes. Okay, tell your name and uh, talk, please. Yeah, I'm Deepak. Deepak. Yeah, Deepak, tell me. So I will add uh, two. Uh, I will add two to the item. So but before doing, I... uh, before adding two to the item, you should check with these two conditions as well, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Since the two three is not divisible by two, you uh, went with the next step. And it's not divisible by five, then you went to the next step and it should be added yeah. with two. So what should be the output of this one? Five. Five. Okay. Then what is your next activity? Then I'll go to the get one item here. Then... You will not go and get one more item. I will not go here. Yes. I will ask the Harsh or Sanket to get one item for me. So you will you will assign the activity to Harsh or Sanket and even you will not yeah. instruct Harsh or Sanket to what to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So give it to uh, Harsh or Sanket, whom it will be. Harsh. Okay. Let's go with Harsh. Harsh, which then item I will you pick? Yeah. So four. Okay. With and whom will you give it to? Which is in the queue. So uh, Akshay. Okay. You will give it to Akshay. Akshay, can you please unmute and talk? I'm audible now. Yes, you are. Tell me. Okay. So the now number is four. So I will check whether it is divisible by two. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is divisible, then I will not proceed. Okay. So can we skip this one? Sure. Yeah. So uh, tell me one thing. Is that because of your application issue or is it because uh, someone said you not to do that? No, it's not an application issue. It's the requirement is there. If it is divisible by two, then stop the process. Exactly. So what we are doing here is we are not stopping or we are not stopping the bot for that particular item because the application is not working, but we are stopping the item because we are, we are asked to st don't work on that particular item. Okay. Now what we will do is, uh, so when we are done with this one, what happened is, uh, this is completed. The BRE exception is thrown. Now this application is crashed or the robot failed. Okay. Now, will the process start from here or will the process start from get transaction item? Patrudu, can you please tell me? Now, what happened was the bot is robot is processing the items, but all of a sudden there is a system crash and we are not able to continue further. Then what should we do? Uh, it should uh, stop the process. Okay. So it should stop the process, but how can we still continue or uh, go with the next item? Now we can try to uh, restart the process like from the beginning again. So you mean to say that we need to restart the bot and the process only then we can continue. Is it right? Uh, it's not about the restart the bot. Uh, uh -huh. We can try to reinitialize the process. Exactly. So what exactly have happened is Patrudu said that, okay, now you have got some system exception. Let's go with starting the process again. Okay. So this is how there is a system exception uh, part takes place. So if there is any system exception that's occurring in process state, it will go into initialization state or first state. Okay. Guys, just confirm, understand it properly. We are just adding up all the items here. So earlier this was starting a process, but now this is initializing the process. Now, whom are we sending the task to? So uh, Akshay is the last person who worked on this one, right? Akshay, whom will you give it to? Uh, we'll give it to Soumya again to okay. start the process. Now, Soumya, can you please unmute and talk? Yeah, sure. So yes. I'll re reinitialize the application once again, and I'll re reload all the data. So if you reinitialize the application once again, are you adding all the items from the beginning or uh, are you exempting the items that are already completed? Um, I will uh, only initialize the data which is not processed. 
Okay, so here is the catch. Now, when you are working on reinitializing, you will not read the items again. Okay. Okay. In case of system exception, you will not read the data again. You will just reinitialize the application. Okay. So this is what you need to know. In case of system exception, you will just reopen the items, but you will not read the data and you will not reinitialize again. The data is already there in one variable and that's stored over here. Okay, Samia. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now will you read the applications or will you just open the applications or read the data completely or will you just reopen the applications? Uh, yeah, I will just reopen the application. And whom will you send it to? I'll send it to Harsh. Okay, so Harsh. Yeah. Okay. So we will start again from four, like it got into the system exception. So we will start from that particular item which got into the exception. Irrespective of what the status is, it is, you need not consider or you need not worry about if it is system exception or if it is business rule exception. Your task is to get one item and give it to process. Other than that, don't do anything. Okay. Yes. Now tell me. Four. Uh, four is already done. It's BRE. Okay. So five, five then. Okay. And you are giving it to? Deepak. Deepak. Okay, Deepak. It's your task. So I'll check again. Okay. Uh, so five is five is not divisible by two. Okay. And then uh, five is divisible by five. So mm -hmm. I'll send a mail. So here you are sending out an email. Okay. Now, the same thing will continue. So is it a system exception or a business exception or a success item? It is, a, it is sending a mail. Yeah. So, so we are continuing be... with the process, right? We are not stopping or we are skipping the item. Yes, we are continuing with the process. So is it success or BRE, business rule exception or system exception? It is success. Okay. Then whom will you give it to? Sanket. Okay, Sanket. Uh, yes, I will take after five. I will go with the six one, number six. Okay. So why are you remembering that you have already taken five? So we, we are going with the one by one, now. like once five is completed, then we'll go to so, six. So uh, one thing that you can remember is irrespective of what's already completed, you will pick up the next item. So one, two, three, four are already completed. The next item that you have is six. Okay. Yes. So six is uh, six, you are picking up six. So that's yes. not there in new state. Now, uh, whom will you give it to? Uh, Adnan. Adnan, can you please unmute? Yeah. Okay. Adnan, tell me, what will you do with six? I will check it. Uh, mm -hmm. It is divisible by two or not. It is divisible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is divisible by two. What should you do? Uh, and this, uh, it is divisible by two. So we add two. Uh, like we will not, uh, we'll not process that. I mean, so we'll not process that. Can you say that it is a BRE? Yeah. yeah. Business will yeah. exception. Okay. So then whom will you give the next uh, item to? It is uh, BRE. Uh, then we'll give again uh, to the hers. Okay. So you will give it to which person? Uh, Sanket. Okay. Sanket, the opportunity came to you again. Next one. Uh, yeah, as six is uh, seven is already in queue. I will go with the seven number. Okay, seven. So you will pick the next item. Other than that, nothing. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you will give it to uh, Deepak. Deepak. So again, I will check if seven is divisible by two. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not. So I will check if seven is divisible by okay. five. All of a sudden, what happened was system got uh, stuck and there is a system exception now. Now, what happens? If there is system exception, then I will again give it to Soumya. So what so happened with seven? Will read. Seven was not able to process. Not able to process, no output for seven. 
Yes. Okay. There will be no output for seven. That we will check it later. Okay. Uh, then you will give it to whom? Uh, it is a system system exception. Yes. So I'll give it to Samia. Samia. Yes, Vajran. Yes. Then I'll uh, reopen the Excel once again. Okay. And you will give it to. Yeah, and I'll give it to Sanket. Sanket, it came to you again. Yeah, yes. Uh, I will go with the uh, last one, eight. Okay, so seven is seven is completed, and you will go with eight, right? Yes. Okay, let's go with eight, and uh, you will give it to whom? Uh, Rohita. Rohita. Yeah, Rohita. Yes, first one. As yes. I it is divisible by two, then okay. I I don't process it. Okay, you will not process it because that's a PRA. Right. So uh, after completing all the items. Okay, uh, here from get transaction item. Okay, uh, so Rohita, whom will you give it next to? And as there is no data to process, no. Why are you worrying about no data? That's not your task. Okay. Your task then is I'll just to process it. You will give it to whom? Harsh. Okay, Harsh. Like uh, uh, like there is no data in queue, like uh, new item. So okay. we will just stop the process and I will get to the path to do. Okay, so here you are doing very good. So since there is no new item, you are checking that if there is no new item, but if there is no new item, what you are doing, you are going to path to do. So path to do, here you go. What will you do? I'll, I'll close all the applications and I'll end the process close all applications okay so just reimagine the same thing uh, okay with all the other items as well now what we will do we will restart the bot there is no input but we will just restart the bot i am asking or i am as i am from the orchestrator i am starting the bot now whom will the status go to it will go to somya somya what will you do yeah i'll re open the application but I do not have any data in that. So irrespective of what uh, data you have, you will read the items. You will read an Excel yeah. file. Okay. You okay. don't worry about if the data is available in the Excel file or not. That's not your task. Okay. Okay. For this game. Okay. 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 So what will you do? You will read? Yeah. I'll read the data. Okay. And open the applications. Yeah, I'll open the application and I read the data and I'll okay. give it to Harsh. Okay. So Harsh, what will you do now? Like as uh, Samna provide the inputs for me, I will check like whether any item is there for okay. processing. So okay. like uh, Samna provide like nothing to process. So okay. I will... uh, one thing, irrespective of Samya have provided you the data or not, Samya's task is only to open the applications and get the data. There, there can be data from somewhere else. Yeah. For example, if there is a bot that's adding the data in queue or uh, uh, giving the data in queue, then Somia is not responsible for that. Okay. Okay. So your task is just to get an item from your input. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about Somia's details. Okay. So okay. Like what's as your, what's as what's I don't task? have any item to process, so hmm. I will uh go for uh, go to pathudu like stop okay. the process okay pathudu i'll close all the applications and end the process excellent so let's go uh, with all the uh just a second So what we will do is uh, we will just go ahead and um, just close all the applications. Now the process is completed. Now what's the next step that we need to do? Okay, it's done. So what I will do is I will restart the process. Okay, the task is completed, but why we, we didn't go to process state?
guys why yes. we didn't go with process state Pathado, can you please tell you are asking me Vajra? yeah yeah uh, so we don't have any data so we won't be going to the process okay but there is nothing like uh, to uh, do all the calculation right we need to have a data so we don't okay. have okay directly go to the closing of the process applications and we will stop the process yeah Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, close the process and let's continue. So there is one more thing. Okay, now the process is done. Let's go ahead and I will restart the process. Soumya, again, the process will come to you. What will you do? I'll open the application once again. And Just a second, Soumya. Yeah. There is a system exception from your end. Then I'll go to end process. Exactly. So when there is a system exception or when there is a failure in the init state, okay, there can be, uh, it can go only to end process. Okay, guys, can you understand this? Now, the, in the first step itself, there was an issue. So it will be sent to Pathudu. So Pathudu, what will you do? <coughs> Same, I'll close the application. See, with respect to uh, from where I'm getting and okay. who is sending me, I'll close the application and I'll stop the process. Mm, yes. Okay. But uh, there is a question like, okay, if you haven't opened any applications, then how are you closing it? It See, will there, try. Yeah. Okay. So the problem here is, Soumya tried to open the applications, but application opening itself is a failure. So what will you do? So uh, when I'm trying to close, it will throw an error. Okay. So I'll uh, just, I'll uh, catch that and I'll try to kill it. Like, because there okay. might be a chance that application is started, but it was not properly initialized. There might be a chance also. Exactly. Exactly. So now this is what will happen. He will check or Pathudu will check if there is an application open. If it is open, then he will close. Or if the application closing of application is failed, then it, he will kill the process. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. So let's try to understand or let's try to see what are the things and how things are moving in. Let's uh, quickly check with those details. Let's open the WordPad. I will, uh, so guys, uh, if you want the word document uh, with notes, just connect with me in LinkedIn and as well as uh, with all the details over here. Okay, uh, people who are in unmute can still stay on unmute and let's discuss on what exactly have happened till now and how we can move the things uh, next step. Okay, so can we check or can we tell Somia process as the init process? Okay, we are initializing things over here. Get transaction item and process state and close process. So we will have only four steps in RE framework. Other than these four steps, we will not have any other step. But why exactly do we need to go with RE framework is one of the important question that normally we'll get to ask or we will check. So why we will go with RE framework is, see, there are five members here. If I ask people to work on a particular process, each and every one will write initialization or they will write the code in their own way. They don't know or if someone started with the process, if Harsh has started the process, it's his wish on how to initialize the activities and how to close it. I cannot have a control. And if there is a team of 10 members, then we will not be able to control where the code will be available and how the code will be moved from one state to the next state. Okay, so that is the reason we are checking with there is an existing pre existing code that we are just utilizing that all the team members knows what to do with what uh, with what state. So in the initialization state, we will check or we will open with all the items and in get transaction state, we will get one item in process transaction state, we will work on that item. And if we complete that item, then we'll go and get a new item. And if there is a business rule exception and go and get a new item, if there is system exception, go and initialize the activity again. If there is any error, then end the process. If there is no data and end the process. 
these are only the simple steps that are available in our re framework code is it clear for everyone if it is clear then just clap or give it a thumbs up so that's how we will uh, check okay now what we will do is we will try to understand how the code is available and how we will work or add the details into the code so that's how we will check with the details okay so here we go now uh, the steps goes in very easy way or uh, we will check with the details basic details here um, the details goes in like this okay uh, so whenever we start who will start with the process or who will work with the process or who will initialize the structure someone one person from the team will start or initialize the project and the others will work on that project so that's how it will go and here we go with the states first one uh, we will have st four states there are four states in re framework okay each will have their own responsibility and their own task to do first one is init the second one is get transaction item okay the, the say third one is process fourth one is end process okay so these are the four steps that we are working on now let's go ahead and work on each and every step or each and every activity but if you have observed how many times will init come in place init will start or uh, the active state of init will come at three stages or you can say it two stages only first one when we start the process when we start for the first time okay the second time is when there is a system exception got it the next thing is when get transaction item will come in picture get transaction item will come in picture when there is a successful item success from when there is successful initialization the second one is when there is success from process okay and also when there is bre from or business rule exception from process so these are the three ways or you can say three routes how you can go into get transaction item and to go into process state there can be only one way that is from success fully got one item so this is the only way where you can get into process state if you see here there is only one transition from process state the next one is end process state to end process state you can reach in two ways first one is through system exception in init state the second one is no data from get transaction okay now here i have one more question patrudu can you please unmute again yes uh, so is it required that there can be only one process in re framework or can we run multiple bots in re framework or multiple process mm. Mul i think we can run multiple processes okay so there is one more question what if there is a uh, multiple process accessing same queue there are uh, one queue is accessed by multiple bots okay those are executing at a synchronous way or in parallel then how can one item or how can they fetch the item if it is from orchestrator okay i am one robot and you are one robot okay now we need to fetch items from deepak so i will ask deepak so deepak give me one item and you will also ask at the same time to deepak uh, get me one item so deepak whom will you give it to it will be first come first serve like this exactly so it will be on the first come first serve basis or first in first out okay 
whoever requests orchestrator first that request will be served and then the output will be given to them so in the same way the reason why we checked with this one is see rari framework it's not about fetching items from orchestrator queue okay if even if it is even if there is an input from excel so how many ways can we get uh, can we use use orchestrator or ari framework guys if you have chat access you can type in in the chat even in the meeting so what can be the inputs from ari framework if you don't have the access let pathulu and me discuss and write or people who have access to unmute and talk can talk orchestrator okay orchestrator q server q data row i'm okay. just reading out uh, whatever the people are writing okay files okay excel they are not getting voice files excel or uh, data row so one thing is uh, you can take any collection any collection to ari framework or you can get one item into ari framework also that doesn't matter irrespective of what is the input ari framework is a structure how you actually code your solution it's not about what is the input yes there can be a dictionary and uh, okay so any kind of input can be taken up into ari framework okay and here you go or chg T R A T O R. Okay, so this is what we have. Any kind of input can be taken up into Ari framework. Okay, now when we are taking, this is what we need to know. When we are taking a list of files or a array of file paths, so what can be one item that we will process? Guys, can you hear me or not? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, Vachan. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. So, uh, if there are array array of files, Patulu, what can be what can be the item that we are processing? Like uh, each file. Then so, can we say it as one file path? Yeah, one file path. Okay, we will process one file path. So, if it is data row, what can be the one item that we are processing? One row. Wrong. One. It, it should Sorry. be one item in a column. Sorry, one item in a column. Sorry. Okay, so a row is a collection of columns, right? Yes, yes, yes. So there should be only one item from a column. So if it is an orchestrator queues, then what should be the item? Transaction item. So this should be one transaction item. Okay. So if it is dictionary of keys, then what should be the one item that will be processing? One key value. One key value pair. so here we have one more option what if the input is a string what can be one item that we will be processing each character each character okay if the string is completely taken then we can take the complete string as an item even yeah. that can work okay so irrespective of what can be the input you need to pick one item that you need to process and that process or uh, that will be done in the process state let's assume or let's understand or let's see that there is an input and the input goes in like there are list of items and the list goes in like 1 2 3 4 okay so we will initialize the list over here but we will get only one transaction item over here so patul which one will you get i'll get one why so you are saying like uh, uh, in the data state right yes so in get that, transaction that is data, the first we... item exactly so in process state irrespective of what we do we will work on that right yes so it will go into here so from here this will be still available from here this will still be available and there is still 1 2 3 4 here so after completion of one item we'll go and fetch the next item so will we still have one over here or will we change this 
Uh, we will change that. We will take the second item. Exactly. So we'll check with the second item, and we will complete with the next item. Okay. So what? Uh, which one we will get over here? We'll get the two next item. Whatever we'll is get given by item. the whatever we will get. Okay. Fine. In the same way, let's assume that we will complete and we will work on with three and four. Okay. okay. The main reasons why we are working with RE framework or why we are checking with this one is let's assume that there is a system exception. There is already a path on how you need to go in the next step. You need not check or you need not write the code. If there is system exception, what you need to do? You need not worry about it. If you want to check with system exception, you can directly write the code over here. Okay. And if you want to process the item, you can process it. Okay, if you already are in success state, then there is a default transaction that, okay, go to get transaction item. So if this is the code structure, even if there are 200 items or 300 members who are working on this code, these are like the standard practices that are already available and you can still work on this particular steps. Okay, so this is how you need to work out or you need to check in. Okay. So that is the steps. And uh, can I know how much time still left for the meeting to be completed? I think we have half an hour more. And uh, I think Nikhilesh already messaged there might be a chance like this uh, session will go a bit longer. Uh, no, we'll complete it with the next half. Thank you. Okay. okay. So what we will do is uh, we will check with what are the next uh, what are the next tools that we have. Okay. Can everyone please message me? Uh, how many transitions do we have? And there are seven transitions that we have. Okay. There are seven transitions we have. So the transitions are the paths we take to move from one state to a different state. Okay. Here we have four states and we have four, uh, seven, we have seven transitions. So, so here are the transitions. And here are the ways how you can go from, from init to init to get transaction item is one. Okay. And from init to end process and from success or some get transaction item to process and from process. Okay. And from get transaction to get transaction to end process guys you can also type in your messages i'm still studying or i'm still reading all the messages uh, so you can go ahead and type in get transaction process uh, to from process how many steps do we have how how many transactions we have just type in over the chat so that i can just write so we can check with this one three okay Okay. Okay. Get transaction successful. Okay. So from process, you can go to when there is success, you can go to get item, get transaction. Okay. From process again, if it is BRE, you can go to get transaction again. Okay. From process again, if there is system exception, you will go to init state. Did I miss anything? When there is new item, get to process. When there is no item, we'll go to end process state. And from the init state, when there is system exception, then we'll go to end process. And when there is an item, when there is success initialization, then we'll go to get transaction. So even if you are going into initialization states, or uh, even if you are going, um, you know, sorry, even if you are going for any interviews. So these are the normal questions that you normally get. And uh, even if you are going for any, um, if you if you have seen advanced RPA certification or developer certification, these are the questions that you normally have uh, when we fail to retrieve data from Q. Okay. Uh, so when we re fail to retrieve data from Q, then it will be no item to process. Then it will go into end process state. Okay, so that is what Jyoti have mentioned. So that will go into end process state. So those are the rules and responsibilities uh, that we are checking over here. And there are sub rules or sub activities that we are checking. Okay, now, now you have processed or you have completed one item. 
now where you will set it to success or failure or where you will do that so that you will do in the process state so where you will you set the process transaction or uh, where will you set the item that will be there in set transaction and that's a sequence or you can say that this is a set transaction will be available in process state and will be executed at three stages okay this will still be executed in three stages in the previous um previous ari framework there is only one stage in the finally but now this is available in three stages okay if you go into process transaction okay there are three ways how you can set the transaction status one if there is a success the second one if there is a business rule exception the third one if there is a system exception so in three places success business rule exception system exception or you can say that okay if i am trying to process something and what exactly have happened is i tried to work on this particular process but there is a success uh, but there is a exception so now bot will check if that is a business rule exception or system exception whatever it is bot will still try to set the transaction status so there are two ways how you can go three ways how you can go to set transaction status so the three ways are when it is successful or when it is business rule exception or when it is failure see these three are available in try catch so that's what you need to check with the difference so when the try catch in the try catch block this is available in try block try block we will have success and in catch block we'll have two items business rule exception and system exception and how to set for business rule exception we need to set some on a different level and for system exception we will set it on a different level so that's how the code is segregated okay the question goes in here now if i have some exception and that's a business rule exception where should i add the code is it in try catch block or in the catch block just chat or type in catch okay add 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 catch catch okay try 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 okay so even try and catch both are wrong so if you were setting or if you are trying to set a transaction status or if you want to do something with the business rule exception or set the transaction status so you need to add the details in here so if you want if there is no pre activity okay like okay if for this business rule exception i don't need to do anything else other than setting transaction status then you need to go and set the details in this flow business rule exception i opened set transaction status workflow and this is where you need to add the details okay and system exception this is where you need to write the code for setting the system exception and this is where you need to write the code for success successfully executing the items okay it's again there can be different ways how you can check maybe you can also tell that okay since the this is only to set the transaction i can also tell that i can add the code in catch block in bre even this is correct so this is correct so when there is system ex business rule exception you can also add it in one more step called um, in set transaction status if you want to write any code uh, for example if there is a business rule exception i need to send an email i can send an email code or i can write the email code either in here that is in catch block of business rule exception this is one place and the second place is setting transaction status the best thing is to write it over here in the catch block okay so that is how you will check or else you can just ignore and tell that okay i will write my all the code in here setting the business rule exception this is where i will write the code or else i can just add a log message and i'll show it here log message and in this log message here you go so here we have the details setting transaction status email to bre okay 
So this is where I will write the code and I will continue. Okay, if there is system exception, again, I can go into the cache block and I can write. Here we can write activities. Okay, and I will add code for system exception. Where is system exception? Okay, here you go, cancel. Let's go to the top, business rule exception, process transaction state. Okay, exception, here you have system exception. So activities, here you will add the code for system exception. Okay, if you just want to log a message stating that, okay, system exception occurred, you can write the code for it, but the initialization will still happen in init all applications or init, init state. Okay, so this is how we will check or we will know. Okay, I hope this is clear. I will take five more minutes and I will try to explain one important topic or uh, two important things. That is uh, first thing, the folder structure. Okay, so I can open the folder structure and I can show it to you. Till now I haven't gone into the code. So just wait till we go into the code. So all the doc, so folder structure comes in here. So let's have the folder structure on the left and uh, the documentation on the right. Let's see with the folder structure over here. Okay, folder structure. Okay, in the folder structure, uh, leave about all the dot folders. You need not check about them. Check with only these folders, data, documentation, Okay, exception screenshots, framework, and tests. And there is one important thing called main file. Okay, so project starts from main, but so since we are checking on the folder structure, let's go ahead and add this one. And here, so in data, we will have three more folders that is input, output, Okay, and then temp. So if your project contains some input files, those should go into input folder. Files for project. Okay, and if it if it is generating some outputs, output goes all outputs goes here. And if there is some temporary folder that you require uh, that you need that just for processing purpose, then you can go with this. Lavanya says, explain with the logs. Logs are different concept that we cannot cover in this. Let's continue with this. So documentation. So here we will have RE framework documentation. So if you want to check how exactly and what exactly RE framework is. So in every project, RE framework documentation is available. You can just open and check that. All details on RE framework. Okay, and in exceptions screenshots, so this here, all the exceptions screenshots will be available here. And in framework folder, we will have all the pre-built code or pre-built code files. So that's what you need to understand. Closing all applications. Okay, uh, close all applications and get transaction. I will not write complete items, uh, init all application and init all settings. Okay, kill process, process and retry current items, set transaction status. So each and every file will have their own requirement and their own activity to process. Take screenshot. Okay, so these are the different files are available. So Patrudu, can you please unmute and talk? Now, yes, Roger. Yes. So, what will you write in close all applications? Uh, like uh, closing off or whatever the applications we are using in the process. All steps to close all close the applications, whatever we open. Yeah. But why are we not writing in init state or initialize all settings? Can we write or not? Uh, which one? Why are we not writing close all applications or applications code to write close all applications in get transactions, get transactions or init all settings? Why are we not writing it? 
see uh, those are like uh, we will be using in particular process and particular steps and particular stages right exactly. so closing will happen like uh, whenever we want to call this close all applications to close the applications we can call it exactly. so even uh, like uh, Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain it better. Uh, so uh, first thing, these are the rules you need to follow so that others will be able to understand your code. Okay, if there is an init state, if you write all the details in the init state, even if someone sees your code, if there is a problem with initializing all applications or initializing of applications, they will not check with the complete code. They will check only at a specific file that is init stage or init workflow, okay? And in the init all settings, we will read all the settings, read all config settings. Okay, so these are the rules or these are the best practices that are already built in. So instead of writing or rewriting all the business practices or instead of rewriting all the logics again, you will just use this one and follow the rules and make sure the code is available over here. So if I want to kill all the process, I will just try kill all the process here. Kill code for process. So if I want to kill calculator, where should I write? I will should write in kill all process. So this is where I will write the code for killing all the process. Okay. So these are the specific files or these are the specific designated files which have their own specific requirement. Can I add get transaction or can I get a queue item in the process? Of course you can get it, but that is not the standard. So if you are working in projects, then that will not work. Then you will get escalations or you will uh, try to rework. Uh, you, will, uh, you will be asked to rework on the code. So to avoid it, follow the rules so that everyone will be able to understand what's the code that you have written and it will be easier for everyone to maintain and work. So, okay. Uh... Can I put in this way, like, uh, it mm -hmm. will be very difficult for the transition, knowledge transition. Exactly. Uh, yeah, handovering it to someone. Exactly. Exactly. So that's what, if you know what are the steps, then you can continue with the process. If you don't know what are the steps and how things are moving in, then you cannot work. Okay. So with this, I will stop with my discussion. So what I will also try to do all is, so there is, the next step that you need to check, I'll give you the link in the chat. So this is a course from UiPath Academy. And if you complete this course, you will also get a certificate and this is valid certificate. And if you have completed this certification, then you will be, it will be understood that you have complete knowledge on RE framework. So this is how you need to, or this is how you can get a live understanding or live working experience of RE framework, okay? And there is one other place where I would ask you to go and check uh, how to work on return mechanism. Okay, see, that's the magic, uh, that's the thing. You, uh, you already have the code to retry. If you have observed, if there is system exception, there is already code written to retry or reinitialize the application, okay? With RE framework. So you not check or anything, but you just need to work on with the code. And retry can be set at two places. We will discuss that tomorrow. Just have a note on that, but check with this one. Can I share the document here? Yes, I will share, but uh, not here. What you can do is I will post it in the items. Uh, if you complete tomorrow's session, all the experienced questions also will be cleared. I will post it in my LinkedIn channel and it will be in Vajrang uh, Information Technology Services. So you can go ahead and check with that. And if you are working or checking, or if you are already having some knowledge and if you want to check with some projects, go with my YouTube and uh, check, with mem uh, check with my membership. There are, again, I am promoting Bots DNA over here. Bots DNA has multiple use cases that you can work, but my way is how you can work in the projects. It's the same use cases, how you can work in the projects. So tomorrow's topic, we can cover on the code. Uh, we will take one simple use case and we will write code on that and we will make sure that the things are covered. So that is tomorrow's use case. And we will try to solve one of the, one of the live example in tomorrow's uh, session. 
So that's it from today. Uh, Niklesh and Pathadu can take over from now. And everyone are asking tomorrow's link. So please go ahead and give the tomorrow's link as well. Okay, so we started. So all the very best for the today's menti. Today we are here at day 13 and all the very best for day 13 menti meter quiz session. So first question on your computer screens. Okay, still people are coming. Okay, first question on your computer screen. Okay, the first question is, which template RE framework is built on? The options are, there are three options, flowchart, sequence, and state mission. Very, very easy question, guys, which already explained. Very, very easy question given by Vajrang. I hope, okay, it's state mission. So, who gave the wrong answer, flowchart and sequence, please check the question. Which template RE framework is built on? So it is not flowchart, it is not sequence, it is a state mission. Okay. So next we are going to second question. Second question on your screen. So second question on your screen. How many states does RE framework contain? So there are three, four options. Again, very, very simple question which everybody can answer, which are already explained in this session in a clear way. So everybody, I hope everybody should give the right answer. We'll see the answer. Okay. So most of you gave the right answer. Congrats. And who gave the wrong answer is, the correct answer is, how many states does RE framework contain? The answer is four. So who gave the wrong answer? Please do check. And we'll see the last and final question. So before going to final question, all, all the best. So try to uh, uh, speed up, try to speed up. Okay. So last question on your computer screen, please. Okay. The last and final question for day 13, which state you can get into new item process? <clears throat> So again, for, there are four options. Which state can you get new item process? This is also explained in the session by Vajra. So, okay. The right answer is get transaction. New item for the process is get transaction. So who gave the wrong answer like process in it <laughs> and all? Please do check out. It is get transaction. So all the very best for the win, uh, winner. We'll see the results. So before the results, we all know who are already winners. So we won't take them. If it is in uh, if somebody is in third place or fourth place, we will take them as first. Okay. Okay. We will see the results. We'll expect a new person, new people. So all the very best and the results are. Okay, so it is Subhash Janigin, Nanjin Hassan. Nanjin Hassan already a winner last time. So we will take Digendra Singh. So Subhash Janigin and uh, <clears throat> Digendra Singh will take them as a winners. Nanjin Hassan, you already a winner. So last time, so we are not considering you. Please accept. So Subhash Janigin and Mr. Mr. Devendra Singh, hearty congratulations, brothers. So Arctic congratulations both of you. So please do share your complete address to my email ID on the chat box. You have on the chat box. So uh, please do guys, share if possible, uh, two winners take a screenshot and share it in LinkedIn and tag me so that I can yes. connect you with you directly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 